So guys, what's going on? Junie's Tech here back with another video. Now, in the past few weeks, we've been looking at like more Amazon Alexa and that sort of stuff. Right, sorry, it didn't start talking to me. We've been looking at them sort of devices. So we started off with the very first generation, the first one they ever released, which was like that really flat one. And then we went for the fourth generation. I think it was the Echo, which was more of a round. And they are really good. I'm still looking for the, one of those big towers. So if any of you have any ideas of where we can get them from, just drop them down in the comment section below. Still trying to look for one of them. But I saw some Echo shows. Now, there's two different ones. I think there's a 5-inch one, which is the first generation, and there's an 8-inch one, which is the second generation. And it's pretty much just everything an Echo has, but built into a touchscreen. Well, I saw them. I, I got one. So today, we're going to be looking at the second generation Echo show, and this is the 8-inch screen Alexa version. And today we're looking at the Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key. So what we need to do from here is go down below and actually type by now. From here, we have promotion code. Now, if you type in the code SKJT, which is SKJT, and click on apply. So straight away, you have now reduced your price down from £15.63 to £11.72. Now, I'm going to use PayPal because it's what I use every day. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, so as you can see from the screen, my purchase has been confirmed, I've got my order number, it's going to send us back to the user centre and then we can carry on the process from there and see where to go next. So what we need to do from here is go to the right where it says review keys and codes, click on that. Now on the bottom here we do have a little yellow tab that says get the key, so I'm going to click it, mine's going to be blurred out but yours won't be. So there we go, we've got, the th we've got the two different keys there, we've got number, which is just your order number, you don't need to worry about that one, and then you've got your code slash cards, which is the key you actually need for Windows 10. So what we're going to do is actually highlight this, click on Control C or right click and copy, then we need to go over the settings and actually activate this, so click settings, up in the top left hand corner, type in activation, and then activation settings. From here it says change product key, now if I click on change product key, Control V and there's the order number there. So what you need to do is paste your order number in there, click on next. Windows is actually gonna check to make sure it's a genuine key. If it's not, it won't accept it. But some of the comments I got on some of the previous videos, this can be a free update to Windows 11 as well. So if you don't have this, you don't have to worry about anything else. You'll be able to upgrade for free to Windows 11 as well as. So now we've had a look at Windows 10 Pro OEM key. I've got one more thing I want to show you. Now this is the Windows 10 Pro OEM key and Office 2016 Professional Plus. Now, as we can see on the right hand side, it was reduced from £327.78 down to £40.21, but I've got a cheeky little discount for you as well. Now on the bottom here, promotion code SKJT. SKJT will also be in the description just in case, so click on apply, and it goes from £40.21 down to £30.16. So this is the Alexa Show uh, second generation eight inch display. So like I said, Unfortunately, I have got it unboxed. I do have the box obviously right here, roughly what it does look like. As we can see there, this is the Echo Show 8. This is the second generation and obviously controlled by Alexa. But unfortunately, I have been starting to use it straight away. As soon, oh, my bad. As soon as I got out of the box, because generally I do use these quite often. But I haven't looked at the first generation. I've went straight for the 8-inch display, second generation. So like I said, if you do want to go check any of this out after the video, links are all in the description. If you do have one, you've got any issues, drop them in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. But this is what we are dealing with. So like I said, we do have a 8-inch display as well as in the top right hand corner, we do have a Face ID camera or a just a generic camera. And then on the top here, we do have the Alexa mute microphones as well as plus or minus button and also a little camera shutter. So if you don't want the camera to be seen, etc., you can just use that button there, which shows you that the camera is uh, is de obviously deleted. It does have fi Face ID, so as you would do to your newer style of Samsung or your newer size of uh, style of Amazon, uh, of iPhone, or etc., it does have Face ID, so it does register your face. Now on the bottom of the device, we do have a rubber stand, which is pretty generic throughout the Amazon pro uh, products. Rubber stand here with uh, obviously all the details inside that you need with a little Amazon logo going on there. And then the rest of it is pretty much all fabric on the outside. Apart from obviously we have a micro USB cable and also the main power adapter. So we can get the main power adapter plugged in and we'll get going. 
So when we do actually flash up Alexa, this is pretty much what we are greeted with. This is the main screen. I've already got it set up and everything. So it's already connected to my Amazon account. Obviously, as we see Gosport Hampshire, which is where I am, tells you the weather. It pretty much circles through all the information that you actually need throughout the day, as well as like upcoming news or articles or anything like that. With this though, after you've set it up, you basically, all you do is like any other device, you pretty much just log into your account and it does everything else for you. But if I do swipe down, we do have a few things. So we have home settings, do not disturb, alarms, brightness, notifications. And then we also have everything to do with the Alexa devices. So we've got discover, communicate, music. Uh, we do have smart home video as well as routines. So if I just head over to settings, we'll go through a few things that we can actually predominantly change. So we do have Bluetooth as well. So we can connect Bluetooth devices to this. We have network, which is obviously the network you are connected to. So mine is obviously the, the Robinson household because obviously that's where I am. You've got your family and profile. So if you want to add family members to this device for them to allow to control it or even see for the camera, which we'll go through in a second, you can also do that. Display and brightness, that pretty much speaks for itself, whether you want this uh, adaptive display, sunrise effect, adaptive colors, obviously your brightness settings, that's pretty much self-explanatory, as well as clock and photo display. If you want this more sat into like your device where you want, so your photos to continuously click by, you can do that, which is pretty cool. You've got home content as well, so if I click on this, it'll be anything from communication messages and announcements, uh, watching videos, uh, discovery drop in final scores this is pretty much everything it's going to show through that little display you saw right at the start which is a relatively really cool you've got sounds as well so you can control the different media settings as well as the equalizer the alarms you've got different alarm settings as well as your notifications and and then obviously start request and also end requests you can also do amazon kids so if you want this predominantly for just uh children so amazon kids, uh, amazon kids helps you protect your amazon for so if you do enable this, this will help you protect your devices, especially your Amazon account from children, like just in case they accidentally press a button or they accidentally buy something without actually realizing this is one of the great devices about this. Because this is touchscreen, obviously everything comes from this, uh, I, uh, this area. So we do have that. We also have the camera. So we do have home monitoring. This enables a remote access to the device for camera streaming. You have video delay if you want to, as well as an audio delay. So if I go to live view now, I'm going to have to activate the camera. So if I go over to, I'm going to, I'll have to, I'll have to do that later. We'll go for the rest of the settings and I'll go through the camera itself. So I'll shut that for now. As we can tell, it's just come up saying camera off. So do I have camera, we have good communications as well. So incoming calls or uh, video calls will come through this device. So you can use this as, as they say, like FaceTime. You can use this device predominantly for that as well. So we have device options. So we have restricted access. So this will restrict the device's access to certain things like Amazon Photos, web browsers, as well as web video searches. But yeah, that's pretty much a lot of the settings that we can go through pretty much already. So... Obviously, when you have this on standby, this is pretty much the screen you will get. You'll get the time in the left top left-hand corner or bottom right-hand corner. It'll change very. It'll tell you the date, time, as well as the temperature, all that stuff, depends on how you've got it set up. Now, if I go over to Smart Home, I have a lot of uh, smart products around my house. Pretty much everything is controlled by smart plugs and cameras. So we can see, like, living room cameras currently off. We've got all the different plugs around the house. I haven't connected all of them up yet. So we can literally turn it off and turn it on from this device, which is really cool. That is one thing I do enjoy. Now, if you do go and grab yourself one of these, if you've already got smart devices, maybe having a look at their settings to see if they're actually compatible with uh, Alexa or Amazon Alexa, you'll actually realize you can connect a lot of your devices to this. Right, so if I go over to video as well, Obviously, I'm still getting used to this product as well. So there's some things I'm yet to get used to. So even the likes of if we go over to YouTube, click on YouTube, it'll directly go over to YouTube. Obviously, you're remembering this is only an eight inch display. So you're not going to get the biggest of displays. So that's one thing to uh, consider. It's predominantly not meant for it to be a tablet. So if I just type in uh, Junior's Tech, obviously, we'll come up with uh, my YouTube channel. And then there we go. Uh, Junior's Tech there is going to have a few of the videos, so we'll have a look at this one, see what the quality is roughly like. I'm going to mute it, obviously. Obviously, we've got advertisements because I haven't logged in. So selling online with Shopify, the e commerce platform that's trusted by. Oh. What's happening? So, we're going to maximize this. We're going to have a look, see what. I think it's 720p. No, 1080p is the best I can get. I think this was a 4K video, so. 
What's happening, guys? What's going on? Right, so we're looking at a gaming mouse yet again. So, yes, you can see from the panel, it's, it's one of my most favorite designs that I've found in the past several weeks, and it's obviously, you'll find out in a second. So, overall, I have to say immediately, like, not just because it's one of my videos and I actually really enjoy it, the quality alone is actually quite good. Yes, it's obviously a 4K video, but I can only use it at 1080p because it, hence the size of the actual monitor as well, which it's actually going to work with, which is a little bit different. But if I click this uh, button in the top right-hand corner, it's going to select more of a desktop view, so I can view it as what you would do on a PC or a laptop, and then it's going to show you throughout the process of roughly what it does look like. And I have to admit, it relatively is extremely responsive. Like if I want to just you know go back home and just click on home, and it does its thing, takes that away, and then I'm back home. So I have to admit, I could pretty much spend hours talking about all of the all the things there is to know about this device. But I have to admit, at the moment, it really is incredible. I probably am going to do an updated video regarding this and obviously all its other different features, but I have to admit, it is really incredible. But the last thing we have to do is, of course, Alexa, do a beatbox for us. Now, of course, before we end this, we have to do one more thing. Alexa, tell us a funny joke. What's the difference between a wizard and a spelling bee contestant? Don't know. One conjures spells, and the other spells conjures. Okay, on that note, Alexa, goodbye. Uh, we're going to end the video there. So definitely for this one, I have to admit, if it was a five-inch screen, I don't think it would be much different. I know that believes that's like the first generation, but I'm going to get this off screen to do my head in. Uh, it's the first generation, but the, eight generation, uh, the second generation, eight-inch display, I definitely would recommend. It's a huge thumbs up from me. So guys, there we have it. So that was the video. Now, I've got to admit, I love this thing. This thing is incredible. It's eight inch screen. This is going to be living on my desk, my desk from now on because it's going to tell me everything I physically need to know about my smart home. So it is connected to all my devices, my smart plugs, the security cameras. It connects to pretty much all smart, all smart things, pretty much. And I even went to the nitty gritty and I got it connected. So every time I come home, if I say Alexa, I'm home, it now gives me a daily briefing of what's going on in the world. And it's just little things like that. Is it practical for everybody? Probably not. No, not everybody needs one. Did I want one? Yeah. Did I get one? Yeah. So that's pretty much where we're at. But the one thing I did like about it, like we went through, was the Face ID. Obviously, it's got this little nifty, I don't know if you can see that there. We did go through it, little white shutter. So you can open it. This is the camera or you can close it and then the camera's blocked off. Um, but it is quite cool. So I can, you can also use this as a form of like security camera if you're not using it. So if you're out and about and I don't know, you've just got a, you've got a weird feel and someone's in the house, <clears throat> click on the Alexa app. You can go through the process, click on the actual device, which would be, uh, this one, which is to show eight inch and actually click on it and you can actually see through the camera. So you can see what the camera sees. Now that myself is great because this pretty much acts as like a little mini security camera which is really cool. So I have to admit, it's one of those products that I wasn't sure about, but I'm generally so, so glad I got one. And it's hard, it now really does have a permanent place on my desk. So guys, if you are interested in going to check one of these out, like I said, links are all in the description. If you've got any questions or comments about it, I think my lights just died, or questions or comments about it, drop them down in the comment section below. I am always more than happy to help. But as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always. And I'll catch you in the next one.